Where's the ride? You said book the flights. You want them in? How are we going to make it to the dock? Alan, relax. There's got to be cabs here. Look around. There's no cabs. There's none. OK, all right. Well, that's fine. We'll summit and meet some locals. No, are you right? I don't want to meet any locals, all right? What I want to do is I want to make the boat which leaves in 15 freaking minutes. I'm going to do something right now. Watch this. Watch this, Merce. How you doing? Hey, Alan. Alan, I got it worked out. That's Alan. His buddy runs the cab company. He's going to be here in five minutes, so uh, we're all set. You want a minute? So, where are you guys from? Uh, United States, Los Angeles. It's your first time on Svalbard? Yes, sir. How do you like it? I don't know yet. Mm, me neither. And I've been here for 26 years. <laughs> Locals are fun, Merce. Don't forget, we're the minority here. The white people? No, bears. Good luck with that. <laughs> the camera guy? Yeah, Sean Tibbetts. Sean, Ray Marsh. I host the show. Hey. Let me help you with this. No, 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 no. I, I got that. I'll get this one. Thanks. <sighs> Well, I'm sure our producer said this is your blue buy, but we're thrilled to have you. I don't know why our regular guy didn't get a visa, but as long as he got a camera, we'll get what we need. You ever done a travel show? Uh, no. Nature show? No. You're gonna be great. Welcome on board, Long Oysern. We are based in Long Yabin, which is the northmost settlement in the world. We always have people from all over the world on this boat, so... Who is from Sweden? Hey! Hey, yeah. yeah, sweet brothers from Sweden! Money, money, money! Always money! 
And we also have some scientists from Tromsø. They are here to uh, study aquaculture or aquaman or something like this. No, 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 don't put your hands up. Uh, I think the books give it away. Yeah. And we also have some Germans here. Germans? Yeah. Always Germans visitor will come and, yeah, alles Gute? Yeah. Super duper, yes. Last but not least, we have Americans. <laughs> Some Hollywood weirdos. And they are here to film beautiful Svalbard. And to corrupt us with their sex and bad superheroes. <laughs> okay, a few tips about Svalbard. These islands are one of 14 demilitarized zones. So there's no danger of war here? You are in one of the safest places in the world. Although another way of looking at it, of course, is that we're all sitting ducks if someone does decide to wipe us out. That's a joke, come on. <laughs> come on, guys, come on. Okay, no more jokes. We have lunch a little bit later, and we have some great viewing points, so if you have any problems, any questions, just shout out, and what's my name? Jerry! Okay, so let's get this baby rolling! <laughs> Sorry about before. I was uh, stressed about missing the boat. No, I understand. As you can see, we have a shorthand. We grew up like brothers, so. But what about you? Where, where are you from? Uh, nowhere in particular. I was an army brat. Really? Was that tough? Living around? Like... Yeah, but you get used to it. Yeah. I don't have friends from 35 years ago. <laughs> hey, that might not be such a bad thing. Did you get some some good stuff at Jim up there on the deck? Yeah. He was great. He was, right? I also went up to the bridge, got some shots from up there. Nice. Nice. Uh, did you get a shot from the back of the boat? Uh, no, I didn't. I'll do that now. Yeah. Could you? I think it would really be useful. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you, Sean. Oh, where are you going? You're my drinking buddy. Boring, huh? Well, we all are compared to you, Ray. Ah, oh, come on, Alan. I said I was sorry. No, you didn't, actually. He didn't say you're sorry. Okay, okay. I apologize. I fucked up the travel. I was just trying to make your life easier. And I appreciate you, bro. It's fine. You got a great ass. And it's a bit supple. And it's a bit hairy. But it's really nice to see. It's supple. It's not hairy. Yes, there he is. He's back. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I appreciate it. I like to see you in that shape. Now let's welcome Sean to the party, huh? Hey, hey, Ray, listen. We are lucky to have this guy. Okay, please don't piss him off. It's fine. Oh, it's gonna be fine. It's a big boy. What's his story, anyways? Why the hell is he in Norway? Who knows? I'm just thankful that we got a guy with two days' notice. Yeah. Yeah, that was lucky. What the hell's he got for lunch? Ray. Hey, that's his food. Whoa. What the? Jesus, that is some retro rig. Wow. Don't turn it on. Come on. Ray. It's weird. Ray. Whale music. Ray. It's actually pretty relaxing. Nice. Let me check it out. <clears throat> oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. Turn it off. Turn it off. Hey, man. Excuse me. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Don't forget your coffee. <clears throat> Thanks. Yeah. 
What? He'll be fine. <laughs> Don't look down, but I think the German girl are into us. Don't say anything. No, Ray, don't. Ah, oh, there we go. Hello, ladies. Hi. Oh, hello again. Listen, did you meet my old friend, Alan Merceau? Oh, no, not no, yet. No. Hi. Hi. How are you? Uh, I apologize for my friend Ray here. He's very forward, so Whoa. feel free to ignore him. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Yes, yes. We know he talks a lot. Yes. We have a show in Germany. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, they have my yeah. show in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> See what he said? He said his show. Yes. Why do you work on the show, too? Uh, yes, I do. What is it that you, because I don't yeah. remember you. Uh, I'm not on camera. Alan's being very modest. He he actually is the show. He's the director and producer. Oh, wow. So, I'm just the mouthpiece. <laughs> so yeah, it's your show. Yeah. If there is a place on Earth that could bring about an existential crisis, Svalbard must be it. Looking at this barren landscape, it's hard to believe life can be sustained here at all. But there are a multitude of species on land, in the air, and underwater. We even found a Viking Santa Claus. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Okay, and cut. It's perfect. Is that it? Yeah, we'll use that for the opening. That's oh. it. Wow, that's easy. Hey, man, you're a natural. You're great. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Jim, I gotta ask this, and I, I don't want it to come out the wrong way, but why do people live in this place? To get away from people like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, it's, I think it's for the beauty, really, mm. and the solitude and the risk. Because mm. up here, you, it's the nature set the rules, and if you don't play by those rules, you're dead. Maybe they find you when the spring comes. Maybe not. <laughs> You're kind of a wacko, aren't you, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. No, yeah. Would you like a drink? Sure. Well, you have a drink. You guys, I, I don't drink anymore. Mm. My God, that's terrible. Uh, let's go. Uh, I have some cognac, uh, ice from the day. How's it look? Oh, it looks good. Yeah, good. Jesus, do you see that? What? Th there was a bird. No. I, I don't think it had eyes. What do you mean? I don't know. I must be seeing things. Excuse me. You guys are from the university, right? I'm sorry, do you speak English? Yeah. Yes. Uh, can I ask you what you're studying? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, well, yeah, the university in uh, Tromsø, they want to open a fish hatchery here. Um, so we're studying the water and food sources and things like this. Uh, nice. But we're much more interested in the geomagnetic storms up here. I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, what is sorry. that? Uh, when there's a storm on the sun, that affects the Earth's magnetic field. Have you ever heard of an aurora? The northern lights, yes. 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 And that's the type of geostorm. Are they dangerous? Not so far, but... They could be. Yeah. A, a, a massive one and all technology on Earth would be useless. The, the planet would go dark. Everything with electricity would be totally corrupted. Really? Yeah. 
Well, what about the human brain? That's electric. Uh, the thinkers have found each other, <laughs> nice. haven't they? Yes. Well, let me jump right into it, kids, because I know you're in the science world. Is there room for God in science? Okay, all right, we'll see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, fine. You're thinking about Marie. She's not going to leave you. It's just a warning. She wants things to change. How are things going to change? She doesn't want me to travel for work. That's what I do. What the fuck are we even doing here, man? This isn't fun anymore. It's not fun. What are you what are you talking about, Alan? People literally do this for fun. They travel the world for fun. Yeah, but is it worth my marriage? Is it worth my kids? We're back in ten days. I'm 4,500 miles away from home. I've literally run away from my problems. Who does that? Everybody. Everybody does that. Everybody. I do that. <laughs> This place is just making you squirrely. Yeah. We're back in 10 days. I've never seen anything like that before. Can we go inside, please? The show is over, please. German social, bitte. Thank you. Come on. Okay, please inside. Uh, and you as well. Strange place, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now taking lunch on the bow where we have some tasty minky weight for you. Exhibit A. Jim, whenever you're ready. Well, whaling is legal in Norway. This is minky whale. The law allows 999 minky to be caught every year. It used to be that uh, every Norwegian ate minky, but now it's mostly the people in the north. The snobs in Oslo, they don't go for minky. Oh, they feel sorry for it. Oh, it tastes a bit like human. <laughs> Cut, I think, uh, I think we got that. Thank you very much, everybody. And hey, Sean. Uh, shoot, shoot some people. Oh, I think I'll have your job yeah. in a <laughs> I give it freely. Yeah. Yeah. That was a great job. It's good. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So, do you want some more? No, no, sure. no. no. It's no. delicious. Yes, thank I'll, you. I'll get some plate for you guys. Thank you. It's killing me, man. You ate it. You didn't? There's a fine line between polite and stupid, Alan. You know what? I need bath. Your stomach's about to explode. <laughs> How was that? Whale of a time? Very funny. Where's Sean? Uh, he's getting some stuff on the front. Good. Jesus Christ.
Where's everyone? Did we miss any? Was there an excursion? Who wouldn't have left all their shit? Hello? Jim! Must be in the lounge. Captain? I don't know what the hell is going on. All right, wait, let's talk this out. Uh, we're on the bow. We're shooting the whale stop with Jim. Yeah, right? everybody's there. You get sick, you go to the bathroom. Right, like come out, we're talking on the back deck. Power goes out. It was maybe five minutes at most. <laughs> what? Hello? Sean, Jesus. Yeah. Where is everyone? I don't know, I was in the bathroom. Well, what the fuck is going on? What do you mean, they're not outside? No! No. No one's outside. No one's inside. No one's on this fucking boat. Okay, is this real? Am I going insane? You guys are fucking with me, no, right? No, I'm not fucking with you, man. This is not, this defies the laws of nature. There's no logical explanation for it. Did you check the bridge? Yeah, nothing. What about the engine room? You think everyone stuffed themselves in the engine? There's fucking 20 people on this boat. I'm gonna check the engine room. You see my notebook? Your notebook? I want to plug in for Christ's sake. We're looking for people. Hello, hello. This is, uh, 
And Miss Langison, the, we have a mayday. Uh, yes, this is Langison. Mayday, we uh, we left Longyearbyen maybe uh, four hours ago. We, we've been going north, uh, northwest, uh, four hours, the fuck! Uh, Mayday, we have, we're, listen, we're drifting. We have no power and uh, no, no power. What are you doing, Alan? Alan! Does it matter? Yeah, it fucking matters. We're drifting. I saw something. Come here. That's a town. Maybe it's where they all went. I'll get the raft. We saw a town. We're going to go to shore. Whoa. You know you're bleeding, right? Did you fall? No. This needs cleaning. Come inside. Jim is a big Hunter S. Thompson fan. I love this book. You know, I'm gonna keep this for him. Where'd you get the rifle? Get in, we should go.
We should stick together. There's bears everywhere. You know how to use that? Point and shoot, right? This place isn't right. This has got to be an old coal mine. It's a goddamn wasteland. There's no one here. We're fucked, Ray. Maybe we should go back to the boat. You think the Amish built this place? Focus, listen. Look at when the woodwork. Point. Sean, should we go back to the Amish boat? Amish swimming pool? Or is that like against their religion? Or... I mean, they at least had food I mean, there. Look at the detail Guys, work. Honestly, right. it's just not quiet. Look at the quiet. Little... What is that? is that? No one here. What in God's name is going on? God. You know what, God? Show yourself to me. Huh? Show yourself, you fucking coward. Alan, we need you here now if we're gonna get through this, yeah? Get through this? Ray, this is not some travel incident, okay? The airline didn't just lose our fucking luggage. A supernatural event occurred here, Ray. That's what's happening. Who gives a shit? We need your help. You know something? This, this is proof that there is something bigger than us. Am I right, Sean? Yeah, see, he gets it, Ray. All right, th this, this is beyond our meager existence. Why is there no one here? 
You know why? Because we, that we're in the middle of the hereafter, Ray. For fuck's sake. This makes no sense. It makes no sense. <sighs> this is a ghost town. This is a ghost town. We're the fucking ghosts. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. The people went somewhere. We just have to figure out where. Is that what you're worried about? Is that what you're worried about? Where all the people went? I don't give a shit where anybody went. You know what I care about? I care about why we're still here. Think about it, Ray. Sounds like a radio. Oh boy, there's gotta be someone here. Someone was here. Who the fuck was here? Keep looking around, Mercy. We'll come back for you, okay? Okay. You got that? Yeah, I'm good. Hey, bring back another TV. This one's busted. Talk about Alan, man. Yeah. flows according to the whims of the great magnet. What a fool I was to defy. There is a big machine in the sky, some kind of electric snake coming right at us. We'd be fools not to ride this strange torpedo all the way to the end. The possibility for physical and mental collapse is now very real. No sympathy for the devil. Buy the ticket. Take the ride.
friend. I'm your friend. And friends don't eat friends. You got family? I got an aunt and uncle in the States. That's about it. How'd you end up here? Came to Oslo for a girl. How'd it work out? Like all the rest. <laughs> Sounds like a Norwegian country song. Trying to succeeding in my book. <laughs> yeah, then I'm a massive success. You? I'm a total failure by that metric. Commitment issues. So you're a coward? Yeah, I guess. Scared of making a choice I can't live with. All seems ridiculous right now. What's the story with that necklace? That's my sister, Cassie. We used to play jacks. She died when I was 10. Sorry. Ah, it's all right. I try to live for the both of us now. I like doing the show because it keeps me moving, you know? It makes me feel alive. Merce doesn't like being away so much anymore. There's a light on. Hello? Holy shit. It's heated. I'm gonna check upstairs.
Mercy. What the hell are you doing out here? Hey. Oh, hey, you got my message. Whoa. Let's go. Let's get you inside. Come on. I'm gonna start snowing. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh. There's food in the kitchen. That's great. I'm gonna go outside and grab the bags. I saw a bear. What's that? Hey, Ray. Yeah. taxi anymore. I need a bathroom.
zum ersten Mal. Minke. Ja, you up, man. No. I saw, I saw Sean. Just lay back. I saw Sean. Just relax. Just, relax. Just lay back. Hey. I left the luggage in the lobby. Thanks. Listen, there's food here, but not much else. Okay. So we either need to find a working radio or move on. Move on? Where? Long you been. We have the nautical charts. It's only 40 miles away. How long would that take? In that boat, four and a half hours. Assuming the conditions are good and there's no wind. Okay. We need more fuel. There's probably some here. There's no instruments on that raft. We have to respect the elements. We'd be killing ourselves. He's in and out, man. He needs medical attention. <sighs> Look, civil twilight's in three hours, then darkness. It's too dangerous to be on the water for at least six hours. I'll find some fuel. Ray. For the bears. Thanks.
How the hell did we end up here? and get some water down. He was upstairs. Squats the all go down. I get Jesus. I saw him. Right. <laughs> okay, brother, just relax. Take it easy. The boat. The boat. I saw a video of Sean, and now he's trying to kill me with the headphones. <laughs> okay, Alan, you're not making sense. Just relax. <laughs> What? Alan, relax. <laughs> this is killing my fucking mind, Ray. <laughs> fucking dying. Watch the video, Ray. Watch the video. Just what the fuck okay. is going on? I'm just here to document the effects. The effects of what? Experiment. What experiment? We were all exposed to a vibration. It's like a hum, but you can't hear it. Exposed? What does that mean? It's a sonic weapon. It attacks neural function. The brain. You're in the military. Not anymore. What are you, some kind of mercenary? No, they just paid me to be here. Film it. Who? Who's doing this, some government? People you don't want to know, trust me. They could be working for some government, but I don't know anything about that. He just hired me to film it. What did you see? What happened to those people? Vaporized or something. There's this interference. My field of view shifted when it came back. They were gone. Oh, fuck you, man. You expect me to believe this dystopian bullshit? We're just supposed to get disoriented. Throw up. Quit fucking lying, man. That's not possible. I don't know, man. I don't have any fucking answers. I don't want to be here. What's with the headphones? It's like a countering vibration. They said it's like an inoculation. That's why we're still here. I listen to more than Alan. Yeah, that makes sense. We could have helped him now? I don't think so. It's meant as a safeguard, not a cure. I gave it to him earlier. So what's next? What do you mean? How are you going to get out of here? 
Something was supposed to get me from the boat. But I can't reach him. The satellite phone they gave me doesn't work. Where is it? Where's the phone? You gotta sober up, Alan. What about Sean? He's got, this. He's got no choice. Listen, Ray. Something happens to me. I need you to say something to Maria and the kids. No, 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 no. Fuck all that. You need to see her in two days. You tell yourself, right? coastline south and we're gonna get you to a hospital. All right, and I don't care if you agree with me or not, that's what we're gonna do. Now look at them, look at them. And you tell them that you'll be home soon.
Hey guys, um, it's your dad. And uh, look, I know I, I look pretty bad right now, but uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. So uh, Ray and I. Dylan, I want you to, I want you to take care of your mother, okay? And Ruby. I just love you guys so much. <laughs> but I'm gonna be home soon. Okay? I'm coming home. What the hell are you doing? Checking the engine. We got a four and a half hour boat ride over open water, Ray. Can't afford any fuck ups. Right. Thanks. How'd you get involved in this? Old Navy buddy reached out. Needed the money. Spend it wisely. Yeah. Whoa, 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 what, 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 what? Oh, I heard something. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Relax. Did you hear that? Come on, let's go. Bears look so friendly on the signs. 
Every location extraction in 30 minutes. Holy shit. They're coming. Alan! Mercy. Coming forth. Okay. We're going home. It's a good house. That's right. Everybody. Everybody loves you. Everybody loves you. Great. You guys hang back. I'll go out and talk to them. What are you gonna say? I'm gonna tell them the truth. There's two survivors. You better not fuck us. Getting close to time. I'm sorry, Alan. Hey, we have had some fun. All right. Done now, brother. This is gonna be our best episode yet.